welcome students on today's lecture on design of water tank so in the previous uh, lecture you have seen that we have discussed about the circular water tank we have discussed about is3370 part 1 which is general instructions or a general guideline for the storage of uh, liquids then we have discussed is3370 part 2 which is for reinforced concrete structure the design components how the components are to be designed or how should be the workmanship and what site details as well as specifications then we also discussed is3370 part 3 which is pre stress concrete structures then we discussed about is3370 part 4 which is uh, the design ta tables for the designing of the water tanks so we have three designs of water tank one is circular tank with flexible base another one is circular tank with rigid base that is fixed base and the rectangular water tank. So today we will have taken up an example. So this is an example of circular tank with flexible base. So you can see here the design. Let us see a question. Design a circular tank with a flexible base for the capacity of 5 lakh liters. The depth of the water is to be 4 meter. Free board 200 mm. Use M20 grade concrete and grade 1 mild steel. Permissible direct tensile stress in concrete is 1.2 newton per mm square. Permissible stress in direct tension is 100 newton per mm square. Sketch the details of the reinforcement in the tank. Now, from the data, we can understand that we have to design a circular tank which can hold 5 lakh liters, and the depth of water is already given that is 4 meters. So, we need to only decide the diameter. Free board is given 200 mm, then the permissible direct tensile stress in concrete and permissible stress in direct tension if it is not given in the question we need to refer is 3370 part 2 and we should get the components if uh, the if the, it is given in the question we have to use it if it is not given we have to refer is 3370 part 2 now here you can see this is how the dimension is so they have said that this is the circular water tank cross section and 4 meters should be the height of the water and 0.2 meter should be the uh, free board. The total will be 4.2. So let us see. So the data given is capacity of the tank 5 lakh liters, depth of the water 4 meter, free board 200 mm, density of water taken at 10 kilonewton per meter cube, then M20 grade concrete and grade I1 steel. Permissible stresses. Direct tensile stress in concrete, sigma CT, 1.2 Newton per mm square. Tensile stress in steel, 100 Newton per mm square. And modular ratio, M is equal to 1.3. If these are not given, we can also refer the IS3370 part 2, that is our reinforced concrete structure. Then let us see the dimension of the tank. Now, from uh, the general data given, we can get an idea that. So this will be the inner diameter taken as diameter of the circle water tank. These are nothing but the walls. So this is the thickness of the wall. That is tank wall. This is a base level. In the data, it is already given that 4 meter height is, is the depth of the water. So this much is the depth of the water, which is 4 meter. And 200 mm should be the free board. That is 200 mm. This should be free board. So 0.2 meter. So total height is 4.2 meter. As we have the height of the water, we can uh, find out the diameter of the circular water tank. So, referring this diagram, if D is the diameter of the water tank, we can equalize the volume of the that is capacity, volume of the circular water tank to the capacity. So, volume can be given by pi by 4 into D square into height, out of which we know the height and equal to the capacity. So, capacity 5 lakh liter converted. So you can see here pi by 4 into d square into 4 meter is the height of the water, depth of the water. So solving, you can see here, we can get, that is uh, solving this, we get 3.141 d square equal to 500 and d square is equal to 159.118. So d is nothing but root of this 159.18, which is working out to be 12.6 meter. So the diameter d, we can take it as 12.6 meter. Okay, now next component is hoop tension and steel reinforcement. Now, this will come when we are designing the circular water tank. So, the hoop tension 
maximum hope tension is given by omega capital H into capital D divided by 2 where omega is nothing but the density of water H is the height of the total tank D is the diameter of the water tank so it is 10 into 4.2 into 12.6 divided by 2 which is working out to be 264.6 kN. So for this let us find out the reinforcement for a per meter height. So AST is equal to this maximum hoop tension divided by 100. So we get 26.46 mm square per meter height. So let us use 20 mm diameter bars. So using 20 mm diameter bars the spacing works out to be 1000 into 314 divided by 2646 which is 118. So provide 20 mm diameter bars at 118 mm center to center. Next is to find out the thickness of the rope. Now you can see here in the diagram so we need to decide the thickness of this tank wall that is this. So if T is the thickness of the tank wall from cracking consideration then this is the formula that is W H D divided by 2 into 1000 T plus M minus 1 S T is equal to sigma C T. So this is working out to be 264.6 into 10 raised to 3 which is you can see it 264.6 W H D. So it is 264.6 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 1000 T plus M is uh, 13 minus 1 is 2646 is equal to 1.2 sigma ct. So t is working out to be 188.7 mm adopt 190 mm thick tank wall. Either we can provide 180 mm thick tank wall or we can also increase it to 200 mm. So the thickness of the tank wall here you can see is 190 mm. So reinforcement in the tank wall. So spacing of hoop increased towards tops and at top minimum reinforcement is 0.3 percent so st is equal to 0.3 divided by 100 into b into d that is 1000 into 190 mm so 570 mm square so using 20 mm diameter bars uh, we get 1000 into pi by 4 into d square divided by 570 which is 550 mm so what is the minimum spacing so minimum spacing should be greater than three times the thickness of the wall so 3 into 190 mm which is 570 mm but we got it as 550 mm. So, minimum we have to put it. So, adopt 20 mm diameter hoops at 550 mm center center and uh, centers at the top. Spacing at a depth of 2 meter below the top. That means from top 2 meters. So, here <coughs> AST is equal to WHD divided by 2 into 100. So, this is substituting, but uh, here we are substituting this as uh, the 2 meters instead of 4 meters in height. So we get 1260 mm square. The spacing of the bar by providing 20 mm to us 1000 into 3 and 4 divided by this. This will come here 1260, which is 250 mm center to center. So the distribution and temperature reinforcement is provided in vertical direction. Area of vertical steel again 0 0.3%, 0 0.3 divided by 100 into 1000 into 190, which is 570 mm square. So spacing of 10 mm diameter bars 1000 into 78.5 divided by this spacing that is 137 mm. So using 10 mm diameter bars at 135 mm. So this is how the tank wall uh, or distribution bars and reinforcement bars are decided. So we will see the design of this floor slab that is base slab in the next class. Thank you.